it's Halloween and it's also early voting day. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go cast my vote for 2020 today. <laughs> Mmm, donut. It tastes really good after doing that election. Yeah, I chose Halloween to do the early voting because it is going to be a very scary election. <laughs> uh, yeah. We all we already know. I'm sure anybody watching this knows who I voted for. <laughs> Actually, I noticed when I was walking to the polling area. Mm, still not really good. Um, a whole bunch of trucks with big old flags. Trump, 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 Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of Trump supporters are voting. At this election site today. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna wait to get the results are right. <laughs> yes. Today's date. Yep, yeah, it is November the third. 2020. Officially election day. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is election day. And unfortunately, due to the fact that it's election day, all the businesses are boarding up their windows, putting up bigger walls, Putting up a bunch of plywood, as you can see, in preparation of this election, which I find astounding that they have to do this. I mean, seriously, it's like, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of money for plywood. Lowe's and Home Depot, I don't know if they're in on it, but definitely, yeah. All the businesses are having to board up to protect themselves in the event that Trump wins. I'm hoping Trump does win, not because I want to see the businesses get destroyed, but uh, if nothing else, it will reveal that, yeah, the Biden supporters are, you know, destructive. I, I mean, they're going to, they, they've already, you know, decided if Trump wins, even though he's elected in, they're going to go out and destroy everybody's businesses. <laughs> you know, I mean... If Biden wins, you're not going to see the Trump supporters out there destroying people's businesses. You're not going to see, I guess, the Trump supporters doing anything except for maybe, you know, having a beer and crying, <laughs> being a little bummed out. But, yeah, definitely Trump supporters are not the reason that all the businesses are having to build and protect and do the plywood. I, it's just crazy. It really is sad that if Trump wins, that the businesses have to be concerned about their business being destroyed. Anyway, I personally think whatever happens at the end of today, you know, <laughs> it doesn't change who I am as a person. I mean, regardless of who wins the election, I still wake up the next morning pretty much just going to make my coffee, do my push-ups, <laughs> make the beds, do the dishes, you, you know, do the laundry, whatever, mow the lawn. I mean, I, who, whoever is the president doesn't change who I am as a person. I'm not sure why it's causing such havoc with everybody in the rest of the United States <laughs> about who you're voting for. You should be allowed to vote for whoever you want to vote for. If you want to vote for Biden, vote for Biden. 
if you want to vote for Trump, vote for Trump. There should be no fear about who you're voting for. You shouldn't be afraid to say, oh, I voted for Trump. I'm not afraid to say it. I voted for Trump. <laughs> Darn right I did. I also voted for him in 2016. I mean, you know, I. the reason I voted for Trump is because I like Trump. I think he's a good person. He's not a regular politician, you know. He clearly is a businessman. And I don't see where he's done anything wrong during this last four years that he has been the president. I've seen where he's been attacked nonstop. I mean, he never even got to have a honeymoon <laughs> of being inaugurated. He doesn't collect pay for being the president. He donates that money. Guaranteed if Biden becomes president, he'll take the pay. But, okay, that aside, if Biden becomes the president, I really feel that Kamala Harris will actually end up being the president. And I don't want Kamala Harris. I definitely do not want Kamala Harris to be the president. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. I still end up, like I said, waking up every morning doing my routine. Whatever the presidency entails, whoever wins it, that's who's going to win it. There's nothing I can do to change it. And I'm definitely not going to go out and destroy a business, something somebody worked hard to have. Because I don't like who the president is. So th that's where, you know, the mentality is a little confusing to me. I, I mean, it, you vote for whoever you want to vote for. If you don't like Trump, so what? You don't like Trump. That's, that's you. You don't like Trump. But that doesn't give somebody who doesn't like Trump the right to go destroy a business. <laughs> or just, you know, fight with people just because they don't like Trump. You don't like Trump, you don't like Trump. Deal with it. If you don't like Biden, like I don't really want Biden, I'm, I'm not going to go out and cuss people out because they voted for Biden. I'm not going to go destroy their business because they voted for Biden. Just like when Hillary Clinton lost, you know, <laughs> if she would have won. I wasn't going to, you know, go destroy somebody's business because she won. Because, you know, I definitely <laughs> do not like Hillary Clinton. Never did. Never. I didn't vote for her any of the time she ran. Okay. And I actually, you know, feel that whatever is happening right now in this world, it needs to be taken down a few notches. It does. There's no reason for all this hostility over who's the president. But we're going to see what happens tonight. Like I said, I'm hoping Trump wins. I'm making a pot of chili and I'm going to have a beer with my chili, and I'm going to watch whatever the election results are. And if all of a sudden, you know, people start going nuts, well, I guess so. I <laughs> can just finish eating my chili and have my beer. <laughs> okay, so it's official. The polls are starting to close, and the results are kind of starting to come in. Mm, that looks good. Best part about chili, it's ready when you are. <laughs> Joe Biden projected to win California. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, this is California. It's a Democratic state, but... Mm. I personally have not seen... Not one. Not one Joe Biden rally. I've seen a lot of Trump rallies. A lot of them <laughs> happening here. But not one Joe Biden, but apparently he's the projected winner here in California. Huh. Close. Okay, so he won Texas. <laughs> yeah, chocolate chip cookie time. Mm. Hot chocolate chip cookie just baked. Um, slate, and there's still no clear winner. And there may be no clear winner for a few days. Nobody knows for sure what is happening right now other than, well, it's kind of neck and neck. But, uh, yeah, got to wait, and, I guess, to see who actually won. Probably got to go to bed soon, but I got to at least have a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> All right, President Trump uh, with a pound fist on his...
Okay, it is the day after the election, and clearly there's no winner, but apparently Joe Biden has declared himself the winner, or just about getting ready to declare himself the winner. Uh, you know, if Biden does win, <clears throat> and if he won, you know, not fairly, then I have faith that karma will step in eventually. <laughs> but, and, you know, Trump... He, he's going to be remembered as a person with a good soul, no matter what. He, and he'll get to go back to living his life without being attacked on a daily basis. I mean, I personally hope that Trump still somehow wins, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But, um, yeah, Biden, if he wins, and it's due to, you know shady circumstances, then I, I, I got a feeling karma's going to step in. Maybe he won't see his inauguration. Maybe Harris, yeah, she'll definitely be the president. <laughs> but, yeah, karma has a way of stepping in where justice fails. So, if he won fair and square, great. Good for him. <laughs> but I got a feeling if he wins, it isn't due to... Uh, completely honest scenarios happening around him. It's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. It's the end of the evening, and as you can see, a lot of Trump supporters are kneeling and praying at the Arizona state capitol. Yeah, the, the elections apparently hasn't been decided yet, but Biden has already said he's the winner, but, you know... It hasn't been decided yet, so who knows, but it looks like it's going to be Biden. Hmm, yes, Twitter is just full of politics tonight. <laughs> uh, it's now been two days and uh, still no clear winner, although it does appear to be Biden. He's ready to claim victory. And, um, well, you know, Trump, he's not going to just give in because <laughs> that's Trump. But, um, and thank goodness. But, yeah. <laughs> if Biden is the winner, yeah, congratulations, okay? We all, you know, think somebody who deserves to win deserves to win. But if Biden wins due to shady shenanigans, then I'm pretty confident that, uh, yeah, <laughs> karma will definitely step in and write his tail and everybody else who participated in those shenanigans, you know, because karma always steps in where justice fails. Eventually. It does step in. It's just a matter of when. But, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, um, I voted for Trump. I like President Trump. And I will miss him being the president, but uh, you know, if Biden is the winner then clearly I have to accept it. But we all know that if Biden's the winner, he won't actually be the president. Kamala Harris will be the president. And that's not good, but, you know, you get what you want, I guess. Right? I mean, the people that voted for Biden. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everybody should be allowed to vote for whoever they want to vote for. I personally do not believe he got more votes than any presidential candidate in the history of presidential candidates. I mean, they're claiming now at this point that... He had more votes than even Obama, and more votes than Trump, and, uh, and Reagan, and Kennedy, you know. <laughs> like I said, it, it, he's been in politics now for over 47 years. He's already shown what he's not going to do. <laughs> okay, and if all these people voted for him to come take away all the guns then I guess they want to give away their guns to him because that's what's going to happen, of course. And, uh, and you know, and people voted for him just because they don't like Trump. Okay, well, again, you're going to get what you, I guess, want. But yeah, you, you, there's a saying, be careful what you wish for. And I do believe that if Biden is the winner, yeah, no matter what, I'm going to go back to living my life the way I live my life, just like when Obama was declared president. I didn't vote for Obama, but, you know, he was the president for eight years, and my life 
continued on the way it continues on every day. So, you know, I just made sure I turned off the TV whenever he was on TV. That way I didn't have to look at him. <laughs> Same thing with Biden. You know, if Biden is the winner, then I'll just, of course, be turning off that TV if I even see him. Because I, I didn't vote for him. I don't really care for him. So, okay. Enough said. Uh, yeah, we still don't know who the clear winner is at this point. But we do know that Biden is ready to declare victory. <clears throat> they need to cross out Joe Biden and say Kamala Harris underneath. Uh huh. I'd say Joe Biden elected 46th president. <laughs> so it happened, you know, whether or not it was due to shady shenanigans or he won legitimately, he won. And, um, you know, as soon as I heard that he won, because I woke up and, <laughs> you know, it was like while you were sleeping. <laughs> yeah. But I uh, woke up and heard that he became the 46th president, and again, I'll say congratulations if he won legitimately, but if it is due to shady shenanigans, I look forward to watching the show to see the, the karma that's going to follow. But uh, yeah, a lot of the Trump supporters obviously were like a oh, bummer, but um, y you'll notice, or I guess everybody's going to notice, that because Biden won, uh, you know, all the cities are taking down the boards off of their windows that, you know, the buildings that were going to get destroyed, the businesses, if Trump had won. Because the Trump supporters, we're not going to go out there and destroy property because we know people work hard for that business. <laughs> we, we, we're just, there's no need for us to destroy something because we didn't get our way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to sit back and enjoy the entertainment. And uh, there is going to be some entertainment because clearly, you know, Biden, he's probably, you know, not going to be president for long because Harris is there and Harris, who was picked solely due to gender and her ethnicity, you know, not because she had qualifications to be the vice president, but because she was a female of color, <laughs> mixed, actually, ethnicity, but, um, yeah, nowadays you, you don't really have to have qualifications for any job, apparently, you just have to be judged on your gender and your ethnicity. <laughs> Not one man was in the running to be the vice president. Not one man. I mean, this morning, yeah. It was kind of like waking up... And, you know, it was like that movie, Rosemary's Baby. If anybody's watched that movie, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> the scene where she's had the baby, you know, and she keeps having these dreams and things are going crazy. And then she walks in and she sees everybody in town, from the judges to the teachers, the store clerks, all of these black hoods, evil, complete evil demons, <laughs> you know, and they're all telling her to accept the baby because, you know, she was, you know, impregnated by the devil. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary's Baby, great movie. But this is kind of like a scene from that. Like, everybody needs to accept that, you know, that you got what you wanted. You know, Biden is the president. And, of course, nobody's complaining about the Electoral College. <laughs> I mean, when Trump won due to the Electoral College. Well, we got to get rid of it. we got to get rid of it. <laughs> now we got to keep it. <laughs> I, actually, I don't think anybody will be voting in 2024. They've watched what took place during this election. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't even know if you'll get anybody running for president in 2024. I don't know. I just know that, uh, yeah, Biden is the president-elect. This is November. We still got Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah, January 20th, I guess, is when the inauguration takes place. Don't know if anybody will show up to his inauguration because, you know. But it, Trump will 
be, you know, I'm sure, able to go back to his life the way he had it. And it'll be peaceful. And he won't have to hear every day how much everybody hates him, even though he's done absolutely nothing to anybody personally. <laughs> but, you know, okay, you know, Trump, I, I still say, is a good person with a good heart. And I'm glad he was the president for the last four years. And I'm just going to have to watch what happens with Biden. But uh, I don't think I'll be voting in next year, I guess, election in 2024. But, uh, yeah. Got a new president. Question is, how long will he be the president before Harris becomes president? Civil War, perhaps, coming? Wow. These people are dancing and cheering in front of the businesses that had to board up in the event that Trump had actually won. They were going to destroy it. But hey, since their guy won, let's go do the happy dance in front of the businesses that were forced to board up. Yes, I voted. Politics still suck. And, you know, the grass is not always greener on the other side. <laughs> Could be fake. <laughs> but I guess uh, in the end, yeah. I'm, I'm going to miss seeing President Trump constantly having to fight against all the people that hate him. He was good at it. Yeah, he stood up to everybody that came at him. But in the end, yeah, the election, I guess somehow will get him to leave office after four years. And now the entertainment's going to begin <laughs> because, yeah, I, I, I got a feeling people are going to be just a little bit uh, taken back by what they voted into office. <laughs>